Hey, hey, what's up, YouTube? It's GMAG back again, back in business. And oh, get shit on, bro. Oh my god, get the fuck out of the back of the map. That is not a good tactic, and we are here to discuss beast mode tactics. Get you guys better at the game, get you on up, get your KD up, your score per minute up, the whole fucking shebang. We're here to talk about a model of consistency, things you can do to improve your game in hardcore game modes, and mine will be custom tailored to solo play. Uh, a lot of these tips are not going to apply to six man parties, so keep that in mind as you listen. Hopefully I'll benefit your solo play style just a hair. Most of the gameplays I put up are solo, so I figure my advice is best geared towards solo gaming. So. Keep that in mind, take it with a grain of salt, and enjoy. So we're going to start with class setups. It all boils down to what gun you're using. And what you're going to be seeing on the screen right now is a flash through of all 10 custom classes I currently have equipped. No, I'm not going to go through each one individually. If you want to go back and check out the equipment and perks and attachments and guns in each class, feel free to do so. I uh, just wanted to use this as an opportunity to talk about what I look for in a gun, uh, give you guys an idea of what suits me and how you can help determine what suits you. So... Number one, the biggest and most important piece of criteria when I'm selecting a weapon is versatility. Now you see number one and two are both the Peacekeeper, in my opinion, the best and most versatile gun in the game, especially for hardcore game modes. A little AR, SMG hybrid, good from all ranges, decent fire rate, a good array of attachments just like all SMGs have, and fits every fucking map to a T. And uh, when you're picking your own gun, definitely keep in mind that you're going to need to take advantage of all your classes. You don't want to use the same gun on every map. They all necessitate different guns, different strengths, different weaknesses, and different play styles. So keep that in mind when you're picking your class. Uh, but definitely, definitely, definitely establish a go-to class. You want to go through and play with all the guns, equip all the perks, all the equipment, all the attachments, and then decide what you think is best for you, what fits your play style the best. Uh, for me, it's the Peacekeeper, Fast Mag Suppressor, Ghost Hardline, Scavenger, Dexterity, C4, and an EMP Grenade. And that's my go-to class. Establish one for yourself. Feel free to try that one out. But remember, they're not going to all work on every single map. That is so important to keep in mind. So we're going to be finishing up this little section on uh, the guns I have equipped. Go ahead and take note of those if you so desire. But we're going to move on to maneuvering the map. Definitely one of the things you're going to hear from every single motherfucker ever that does a tips and trick video is stay to the outside of the map. That applies to every single game mode, every game type, anything and everything you ever want to do is on the outside of the fucking map. The middle is what I like to call the hot zone and we'll get into playing in the hot zone here in just a second. But for the most part you want to be staying to the outskirts of the map especially until you get that UAV or that VSAT or your initial kill streaks up. You're going to want to play it safe and that's, that's my biggest tip is stick to the outsides and be safe. Protect your kill streak. This is Call of Duty, baby. The name of the game is to get those score streaks. And when you do, you will obliterate the enemy. So protect yourself by playing on the outside of the map. You're going to see, look, right now I'm doing something what I like to call it window shopping. I'm taking a little vantage point from all these elevated positions. I want to get an idea of where my teammates are, where the enemies are, and spots where the enemy could potentially come from. And after seeing the mini-map and seeing what I can see from up there, I can see that they could only come from this way. But an important thing to keep your mind in mind as you're moving around the map, as you're window shopping just a little bit. Again, I do not condone camping. You don't want to stay in those windows for long. If you stay in one place too long, the enemy will adapt to your tactics. They will come back. They will revenge kill. But what you want to do when you're in a window is only expose yourself as much as you need to to get the angle you are looking for. And you'll see me do that in this video and to explain that a little bit more, you don't need to put your body out all the way in the middle of the fucking window to see what's going on to the right of the window. There's no need to do that. You're just exposing yourself from many more lines of sight than you're going to be able to simultaneously observe. I know, big word. Hopefully you guys catch my drift. Uh, anyway, moving on, playing in the hot zone, you see I'm in the fucking middle of the shit in this map. This is obviously the map standoff, and the middle the middle building is the shit, it is the hot zone. You are in the weeds if you are up in this shit, guys can come at you from fucking everywhere. So, some tips for playing in the hot zone is, number one, do not sprint. God almighty, I can't stress that enough. Do not sprint. You always want your gun up. You gotta be ready. The tenth of a fucking second it takes for you to get your gun up from sprinting is too goddamn long. You're gonna get shit on. Some douche is gonna come around the corner with a B23R that he can whip up way faster than you can whip your goddamn M8 or your Peacekeeper or whatever the fuck you have equipped. That's just gonna beat you every time. Definitely never sprint. You see me do it all the time, but when you're coming around a corner, when you're getting a new angle, stop the sprint, get your gun ready. Now, 
you want to hold down an area if you're in the hot zone you want to position yourself in an area where you can continue to keep an eye on all angles you don't want to be overwhelmed uh, a, a corner is a good place to be again I'm not condoning camping you just need to evaluate the situation you want to get into a place where you can see where both sides of the entrance points one two three four however many entrance points there are you want to keep your eye on as many as you can so definitely keep that in mind when you're in the hot zone and the biggest and most important tip for the hot zone is always be passing through never fucking post up in the hot zone that is asking for death yeah you may get one two three four five six even maybe seven or eight kills but you're going to die unless you get out so just pass through and while you're in the hot zone while you're moving around the outside of the map another super big question Everyone always asks, every commentator always gets the question, when do you reload, how do you decide when to reload, and you can't really, I can't really give you a time of when you should reload. All I can say is, know your fucking weapon. Go to your go-to class, know when you're going to need to reload that weapon. AR said it best, he knows that fucking vector. He knows his gun, baby. When his 36 bullets are up, he absolutely knows it. it's time to fucking reload, it's time to take a little bit of cover, change that clip out, and go back to shitting on the enemy. So, it all comes down to knowing your weapon. Uh, you know, you can always reload when you have the opportunity, when you feel like you're in cover, uh, but no need to reload all the time in hardcore mode, it doesn't take that many bullets to kill, and most guns come with at least a 30 round magazine. So, just know your goddamn weapon, that's really all I can say on knowing when to reload, definitely most important. So. And we all know this was coming. The most important thing when getting beastly ass gameplays is getting those kill streaks in. Uh, and so everyone always asks, what kill streaks are you using? Uh, you know, how do they chain together? Blah 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 blah. That's all so important. But again, it's just like the fucking custom class. It's all down to what you're comfortable with, what fits your playstyle. If you're a balls deep rusher like me, it doesn't always make sense to equip the swarm. It doesn't always make sense to equip the K9, the low star, whatever. Go for those mid range, mid tier kill streaks if you feel like you have the skill level, but fit your kill streaks to your skill level. If you know you're usually averaging about a 1 KD in every game you're playing, stick to those low kill streaks. You can still get 50, 60 plus kills. I mean, you can go absolutely ham. All you gotta do is manage your kill streaks and keep them cycling. That's so important. If you want to go for those high kill streaks, go ahead and try it. Uh, it's always fun to go for them, but again, super difficult to do and they don't cycle well. It takes a lot of effort to get two and three sets in. So fit your kill streaks to your play style. If you're a slower player, you might want to equip some higher kill streaks because you're going to be patient and your chances of death are going to be much lower. Uh, so keep that in mind. Last and finally, the video is winding down to a close, but I got to get this in there, especially considering we're talking about solo gaming. Play around your teammates. The greenies are going to fuck you in the butt. They will fuck you royally. They will ream you in your fucking asshole. They will take complete advantage of the situation, and they're only in it for themselves, just like we all are. Keep that in mind. Use those little bitches as bait. Use them as a decoy. Whatever you fucking gotta do. We're not here to make friends. We're here to win the goddamn game. We're here to go ham sauce. We're here to put up the numbers, baby. We're here to be a beast. So forget about the greenies. If you're not playing a six-man party, fuck the teammates. Who gives a shit? But as you can see, it's a wrap. Hope you enjoyed. And until next time, guys, it's GMAC. Peace.